She has an awesome YouTube channel here where she does everything from guided meditation to healthy vegan recipes. Um, she's just an incredible inspiration and I thought it would be really fun to bring her on today and talk about meditation since I know that it can be kind of this grand idea that can seem really overwhelming and in fact it's a quite simple, very peaceful, sort of easy-ish thing to do. So I wanted to share your knowledge with them. Yes, I can't wait. I'm excited for you guys that are thinking about embarking on a meditation journey or maybe feel intimidated yeah. to jump in. I hope this video helps you. Just for basics, what is meditation? So I think depending on who you ask, you can get a different answer for this. For me, meditation is really when I quiet my mind so I can really hear my soul speak. And that's my language that I use, but you know, it's you know, clearing your mind so that you can hear your intuition, so you can connect back with yourself, so you can you know, connect with God if that's your thing. Um, it's essentially just kind of clearing out all this like white noise that we have and giving us that, that breather during the day. So it's not necessarily a religious thing, it's kind of just what yeah. you make it. Absolutely, meditation is not religious. Um, it's a, it's a spiritual practice, you know, and honestly meditation doesn't even have to be a spiritual practice. I have gone into startups, like big businesses and taught them how to meditate just to, you know, have clearer focus during the day to, you know, to be more creative. So meditation can be whatever you want just it to be. Mind. Yeah. So if someone was like, all right, well, I could definitely use some clear headspace and they wanted to go ahead and start right now, how would you advise someone starting meditation who's never done it before? And it's just a basic let go mantra. So just on your inhale, thinking let, and on your exhale, thinking go. Okay, so you would be sitting in sort of... Yeah, so you would sit place. Okay. in a quiet place. You'd either be in easy pose, you could have both of your feet on the floor. Um, or you could even do it laying down in bed if you don't think you'll fall asleep. The only reason I don't do meditation is because you fall asleep. I, I fall asleep. asleep. I make myself <laughs> so it's nice if you just know you're in easy pose, and then you just close your eyes, and then just take a deep inhale in your nose, out your mouth, and on your inhale you're gonna just be thinking in your head, let, and then your exhale, go. go. So it's let go. Yeah. Oh, cool. Let. Go. And then how long would you advise somebody to do that? So just, I would say again, I'm a big believer in do what you'll commit to. So while I, I'm a big believer that 20 minutes is a great magical number if you're really in a tough space and like need to blast through something, go for the full 20 because that, that's kind of when you'll hit through that threshold. If you're just trying to start a meditation practice, you just want a little bit more clarity, more peace of mind, start with three minutes a day, five minutes a day. You know, you can slowly build it up. I generally do, because I'm very new to meditation, I generally do like eight to 10 minutes and I have a really cool timer that it doesn't like ring really loudly. It actually is just like a, it's like a wood block that kind of goes, it's just very soothing. Oh. So it's an app, I'll put it in the description box under this I video. I love it, that is important. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when I meditate sometimes, I get really distracted and that can be really frustrating because you're trying to think you're trying to clear your mind and the more thoughts that come into your mind, the more frustrated you get because you're like, I'm supposed to be clearing my mind and then you start thinking about that and then you start thinking about what you have for lunch and like <laughs> your text messages and the whole thing just becomes kind of like a weird spiral of stress. So what do you tell people about clearing your mind and not getting distracted? Well, first of all, don't worry about it. You're human it's going to happen. Um, I still have days where I will spend the entire two hours going over my grocery list, <laughs> you know? Um, it happens, you know, none of us are immune to that. I think it's like a misnomer that like med the goal of meditation is to not have thoughts anymore. Yeah. Like, that, sorry, that doesn't happen. Right. You're human, you're alive. Um, it's just to not let it distract you. So I always say, think of your thoughts kind of like clouds. 
allow them to just pass on by like you can notice them but then like move them along keep them moving along and just keep bringing yourself back to whether it's your breath whether it's the mantra whatever it is you're working with if you're playing a song you know uh, your breath is a number one great go-to and just bring yourself back inside um, so that means that you're sitting and you're thinking about your breath yeah okay. so you're sitting and when the you know let's say it's like you know oh I have to do this at seven o'clock tonight you're like inhale <laughs> exhale so you know that's like, what keeps you going back is the inhale and the exhale yeah. if it was a mantra it'd be the same thing you have a thought that goes by and then you go back to your mind. let go, go let go it's like going to the gym right you're building these muscles so you're gonna have days where you're you know you're working out it feels great and it's awesome yeah. and you're gonna have meditations that feel like that too and then you're also gonna have days at all points during your meditation career where just like you'll have workouts where you'll not into it. you're not into it yeah. the important thing is that you do it you know if you spend the five minutes the 20 minutes just doing it you are doing something even if it feels like you just went over your to-do list for 20 minutes you actually you're actually still building that muscle you're actually still you know it's, it's still working even well, though you're feeling, yeah it's yeah. still working good. Good, <laughs> you're good. building those muscles so what do you think are some of the benefits that people can expect from meditation for me the like the biggest benefit is really just having that connection to my internal guidance system it's you know really being able to trust when I have a feeling about something you know I've created my entire business on that I like run my entire life based on that and that is something that I get from doing meditation every day it also I think when you connect to that place inside of you gives you this innate sense of worth and love that a lot of people walk around not having mm -hmm. you know and that I get that because you're doing the work on yourself like you're working on yourself you're always improving so you have a foundation of like of self-love yeah. yeah and when you when you spend time in meditation and you actually connect inside you realize that you really are love and you really already have everything that you need mm -hmm. and it's it's something that like I'm sure you're watching this right now and you're like well that sounds really great <laughs> whatever but do it <laughs> because I can tell you whatever my experience is but when you you actually do it in your experience for yourself um, it's really it's an indescribable really feeling that you get eventually from just so showing up for it and then of course the benefits like focus clarity you know more creativity um, we get some great ideas from meditating and last question do you have any routines or rituals when you're getting ready to meditate is it do you like to light candles do you have crystals do you have um, a specific mantra that you kind of repeat what's how do you do it I have all the things, all the things. <laughs> Awesome. I um, like such an elaborate routine. I know, me too. I feel like the more things I can incorporate into like setting up my meditation space, the more excited I am to do it, which is why Absolutely. I ask. I feel like if you're kind of on the fence about it, like I have candles, I have incense, and those two things, and then I turn the lights down so it's really peaceful and calming and it smells good, and I just like look forward to that element of it, so that motivates me to practice. Absolutely. Like you want to make it feel like this like sacred time, because it, it is. Yeah. So, so what do you do? So I'm a teacher of kundalini meditation and yoga and in kundalini meditation we wake up for sadhana which is essentially just waking up before the sun rises. And then when I wake up, um, I take a cold shower, quick cold shower, oh quick my cold gosh. shower. Uh, and you rub your body with like, I rub it with lavender almond oil. And then I make myself a cup of tea and I have a little window nook that I meditate in and I light a few candles and I have um, I have different postcards I collect from when I've traveled. I go to different like churches or like holy places and I'll like pick up postcards that like mean something oh, to I me. Love that. Um and sometimes I'll even have little if there's like um you know like little sayings or something that mm -hmm. I've like jotted down in like a little note card or whatever, I'll like put them. So I make like a whole little, you know, altar -y like space area. Cool. there. Yeah, and for me, my meditation, it involves a bunch of different mantras, so I okay. do use mantras in it. So she has a bunch of guided meditations over on her channel that I think are really, really helpful, so I'll make sure to put those in the description box, but head over to her channel, because in addition to shooting this video today, we also shot a really fun vegan recipes, it, re recipe, just the one, <laughs> um, it was for some summer rolls that uh, we came up with with a really good Thai peanut 
and they, yeah, it was, they were delicious. Yeah, we already ate all of them. <laughs> we ate all of them before filming this video. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> um, so that's going to be really fun for you guys to check out. So make sure you head over to her channel, subscribe, and show her some love. And thank you so much for doing hey, this. Hey, thank awesome. you for having me. It was so nice meeting you guys. If you guys have any questions for me or Cassandra about meditation or just about anything, make sure you leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.